Last time I gave crumbs. Nick, do you really have a handle on all this? Oh, totally. I'm yeah, fine. I know exactly what's going on. Yeah. I'm finally putting all the pieces together. There's really only one picture I could paint anyways. The monkey was working with the clown and then the <laughs> and the, the, the acrobat that does work with the legs dropped the statue and the statue <laughs> killed the man. Wow, good point. <laughs> hey, I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. Ah, uh, welcome back, everyone. Yeah, me too. If you- what? <laughs> Aaron, try not to mail it in before five yeah. seconds of the video. No, right? I'm not mailing it in. <laughs> I'm simply a long distance away <laughs> and I'm caught up in what I'm doing. <laughs> so, in case uh, you needed a refresher on where we are, You've all done a good job of fingering a criminal. Oh, that's right. My God, this is the frame we decided to end the episode it's on. It's so funny. All right. Well, oh, yes. Good it job. Seems like we've done it. But out of curiosity, what was her crime? Um. Miss Berry gave a pepper-covered scarf to Bat as a present. Where's the crime in that? Because she knew the pepper would make him sneeze. Still seems like the judge just doesn't get it. Mr. Phoenix Light, wasn't it said that the lion seemed to be smiling? What, were you helping me out? Smiling? The lion was smiling? Right before the bat was bit by the lion. For a moment, the lion's mouth changed, and it looked like he was smiling. Lions smile? Yeah, dude. I've never, <laughs> I've never heard of them smile, however. Lions sneeze. Leon wasn't trying to bite bad at all. <laughs> In reality, all he actually did was sneeze. That's the sound of the lion sneezing. A lion sneezing must be adorable, though. <laughs> <laughs> he sneezed because of all the oh pepper. Oh my god, he's dead! What? <laughs> <laughs> You fool! Yeah. Got him. <laughs> got him. Mic drop moment. You've got to be kidding me. Yeah, I feel the same way, Judge. <laughs> it's so <laughs> absurd in every way. What's the matter, Miss- What- what- what's the matter, Miss Von Karma? I- I object for objection's sake. Mr. Phoenix Height, you- this theory, you believe it? No. I was just pulling your leg. Wow. She whips and then like already is has un, her next whip in the chamber. <laughs> you really intend to say that this is how the joke of an accident actually happened? Of course I do. It's the truth. <laughs> Fade <Ooh>. to black. <laughs> <laughs> the lion sneezed due to the pepper and that's when Bat... <laughs> Um, quote unquote, lost consciousness. That's a very nice way to say got his head bitten off. <laughs> yeah. Acro nearly lost his brother due to this accident, or this joke, as you put it. Which is why he tried to get his revenge against Regina. You foolish idiot. <laughs> it almost does seem like a terrible joke, doesn't it? Once again, I'm impressed by your imagination, Mr. Wright. <laughs> To think that there's someone who treats this accident with the respect it deserves. Are you telling me that what I said was true? Acro! <laughs> don't sink into the swamp of sorrow! <laughs> you don't mean, you can't mean, witness! Are you confirming the defense's claim? Mr. Wright, unfortunately your imagination is not enough to find me guilty of murder. Uh, what do you mean by that? Even I don't know. <laughs> the pepper, the scarf, the lion. <laughs> the house, the room. I, d I see where you're going, but it's a bit hard to swallow. Not to mention the fact that there's an even bigger problem with your theory. What would that problem be? It's, it's it fucking sucks. insane. <laughs> <laughs> the same problem it's always been. Evidence. If I drop Max's bust on the top of the ringmaster, where is the evidence that proves that claim? Uh. Hmm, you mean the conclusive evidence? The biggest problem is the murder weapon, or the lack of thereof to be more precise. The murder weapon. The bust that the defense claims was used. If that were to be found in Acro's room, and if it were covered with the victim's blood, that would be awfully conclusive in my eyes. 
Yes, it would be. Hmm. It definitely wouldn't have been cleaned or disposed of. The bust. Nick, you've got to do something! I'm freaking out! <laughs> Nick, I dropped mushrooms like three hours ago, and they're turning on me! <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> the room starts like moving really fast. <laughs> this is the last step. If I get this one right, the case is won. Uh, all right. Fuck. See how things work out. Seems like Karma's figuring it out on her own anyway. Might be worthwhile to search Akra's room, but... Why aren't you gonna search his room? <laughs> <laughs> it looks like you finally figured things out, didn't you? Now you know the true meaning of Von Karma Total Justice. Uh, whoa. <laughs> I guess. I figured with you that's the least I should expect. You'd have no stone unturned. Psh. A Von Karma never leaves anything to chance. We already searched Akro's room yesterday. What did you find? A blood-covered bust. A, a bloody bust. <laughs> There's no reason to even say it. Especially because it will make me lose this case. If we found what you think we found in that room, Akro would not be here as a witness. But to put a point on it, Max's bust was not in the room. The monkey took it. The murder weapon is still unaccounted for. You see, Mr. Wright, the bust wasn't in my room. Furthermore, Detective Dick Gumshoe executed the search by complete surprise. And we took Akro directly to the prosecutor's office after that. You alright, Art? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. <laughs> the end of story. Oh, thank God she solved the case. <laughs> Just wait a second. Something's funny about all this. <laughs> <laughs> Something is funny about all this. <laughs> it looks like you lack the final nail to put into my coffin. Hmm. But, but what about the scarf? What about the note? What about the Home Depot next door? I could easily get a nail there! <laughs> <laughs> what about them, Mr. Wright? No offense, but the only evidence that is relevant here is that which pertains to the death of the ringmaster. You should know that by now. I love when Akra is about to get real, all the birds fly away. Yeah, like, oh shit. <laughs> yeah, no. Oh fuck, shit's getting real. Fucking skin's getting hot. <laughs> Arg. Do something, Vic! <laughs> She's curled up I on the floor. I see demons! <laughs> Don't let this case slip away! <gasps> it's so far! <laughs> the bust, where is it now? Hmm, where's the bust right now? You're Phoenix right? You know where that bust is. I'm sure you do. It's not even a single clue. How am I supposed to know where the bust is? Where's the fucking bust? <laughs> <laughs> it seems this case is coming to a close. Never thought it would happen. The defense's counter arguments look to have fallen short. Mm. Thank you for your support. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm terribly sorry, Mr. Wright. I think that brings an end to the cross-examination of this witness. No! Hold it! Who? I call Bat to the stand! He's like, <laughs> wheeled in in a coma. Where is Max's bus? The defense needs time to prepare to present his list! I mean, case. Sorry, I'm a bit nervous that I just bit my tongue. Huh? What? What? We need- Oh! <laughs> Why are you the most surprised person here? She's your aide, isn't she? Do you really have a case to present, Mr. Wright? What? You're asking me? The rest is up to you, Nick. Good luck. Bye! <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait. That's awesome. You can't be serious. Acrobats always have their lives in their lives, don't they? That's how Acro lived his life up until now. And now. That guy's a murderer and Nick can prove it. Bye! <laughs> <laughs> um, um. <laughs> <laughs> now, it's, now it's time for us to walk across our own tightrope. If we don't, we're certain to lose. <laughs> if you can't prove it, you should probably just borrow and buy. There's something fucked up with this milk, I know it. Door slams. <laughs> Very well. The defense may proceed. Bring me my milk. He doesn't have a clue, and I don't think he'll be finding one anytime soon. Walking the tightrope of logic. There's no room for a false step. Sink or swim. The only way through is forward. I really thought I had it with that pepper thing, man. I mean, you did. Yeah, but I didn't think there'd be a whole new, like, look at, well, there's four life nodules at stake. Where is Max's bus now? Oh, man. Oh, God. 
Oh man. Hold on. Oh god, oh man. I think the monkey took it. I can base that on nothing. I think it's in his chair. So, oh, that would be crazy. It's obvious the bus is inside this very courtroom. It, it's obviously where? Allow me to pinpoint the location of the bus once and for all. The witness thing. No way. Acro, I'm sorry to ask this, but do you mind if I take the blanket off your wheelchair? Please do. Yes. <laughs> Why stop at the blanket? <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't quite hear you, Mr. Wright. Well, you're a big guy and you have a pretty big wheelchair because of it. Among other things. I just wanted to make sure you weren't hiding anything under that blanket. Because it seems to me that it'd be really easy to say, hide a bust under there. <laughs> Once again, your penchant for humor hits me where it hurts. Or would hurt. If I could feel anything. <laughs> there. Mr. Wright. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's pretty amazing that you can laugh in your position. However, your lightheartedness doesn't change the fact that the bust is under there. We all know that you can't leave the lodging house by yourself in your condition. That proved inconvenient when Miss Von Karma happened to search your room yesterday. If she had found the murder weapon in your room, it would have been all over. Which is why you had to hide it. In the only place that you could hide it. Your acrobatic butt cheeks. Under your wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> Which is why, Acro, I have to ask you again. Would you please remove the blanket from your lap? You sure do know how to finger a criminal, Mr. Wright. <laughs> well done, Mr. Wright. Masterfully played. <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> you, you fool. How could you... How could I what? Murder someone? Put the bust <laughs> under my chair? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, Von Karma. You murdered someone. You've got me. I've been bagged by a real pro. Actually, two of them. Two of them? Miss Francisca Von Karma and Mr. Phoenix Wright. What? There's just one thing I'd like to know. How did you know to launch the surprise search on my room last night? There were two pieces of decisive evidence. The cloak and the bust. I burned the cloak in my room and threw the ashes away with the trash. Regina always took my trash out every morning, you know. But the bust, obviously I couldn't throw that away. It had too much sentimental value. <laughs> when you executed your search, all I could do was try to hide the bust. And the only place that I could hide it quickly was under this wheelchair. Miss Von Karma, you had things all figured out, didn't you? I was completely sucked in by your calculated strategy. And now to be caught in the middle of court hiding the murder weapon? There's no way I can escape that. I, I, that wasn't me. <laughs> so you've got me. Well done, Miss, Mr. Wright. Well done, Miss Von Karma. Hmm. It all makes sense now, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hmm, well, I'm convinced. Case closed. I can't believe that Von Karma thought that far ahead. It's amazing. So are we going to actually see the bust? Or are we just going to take his word for it? Well, I mean, he's admitting to the murder right now. I know, but like, knowing this game... I could see him, like, admitting to a murder he didn't commit to protect his brother or some crazy right. shit like that. Uh-huh, you definitely couldn't tell by looking at her. I know I sure couldn't. I can't believe it. Me. Make a mistake. Why did I order a surprise search of your room if I only hadn't done that? If only you hadn't done that what? It seems we finally arrived at the truth. Then she would have gotten away with it? I don't know. There's a murderer. Acro! Yes, Your Honor. Did you kill the ringmaster of the Berry Big Circus, Mr. Russell Berry? Yes, Your Honor. I'm responsible for that crime. Agro! I feel bad for him, but not really! But I'm so... so handsome. <laughs> All my brother wanted was for Regina to like him. That's why he teased her. One day, my brother sprinkled some pepper on Regina. She started sneezing so hard, you couldn't help yourself from laughing. That's why Regina thought it'd be funny to get him back in the same way. 
And that's why she covered the scar. Oh, with okay. So she wasn't intentionally trying to kill him. Nah. I know she didn't mean for anything bad to happen. I mean, who could have fucking known that my brother would be like, I'm gonna stick my head in this lion's mouth so you'll like me. I know this. She just wanted to make my brother sneeze a few times, too. But I just couldn't forgive her, no matter what. What am I truly guilty of? Murder. I'm guilty of never. <laughs> but besides that, though, I'm guilty of never, ever being able to understand her. Your brother became a star. Regina believes in that so purely that she would laugh innocently when saying it. Too innocently. I just couldn't stand it, no matter how hard I tried. That's when you decided to do something about Regina. How dreadful. So are you saying that you are a victim in all of this as well? Well, then not guilty. <laughs> no, that's not what I mean. I mean, yes, I, I am. I cannot use my legs anymore. I'm nothing but a murderer. That's who I am. At first, I thought I'd kill myself. Then I pondered giving myself up. Then I thought, maybe I'd murder a girl. <laughs> that seems like a better option. <laughs> that seems cooler. But I just couldn't... I just could, could... Wow. I couldn't just up and leave. I just couldn't. Not yet. That's why I tried to pin this on Max. Max, I'm so sorry. Fuck my, you. Go to jail. <laughs> my my B. I just... I just... I just couldn't up and leave yet. Am I supposed to feel bad for this guy? I don't know. This has been such a strange case. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's almost a reflection of the circus itself. I'm going to let you go on probation. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I can't believe it. She beat me again. I believe this case is now beyond any point of possible discussion. Thus, I'd like to declare my verdict. Not guilty. Oh, Max isn't. Guilty. Except when it comes to Acro. Right. Yeah. Acro's like super guilty. I was like, I kind of forgot what the whole thing was yeah, about. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> this court is adjourned. No, this court is a room. <laughs> all right. <laughs> uh, right before New Year's, we can all celebrate. Acro, do you want to come? Oh. Uh... Uh... Fabulous. But to be honest, I can't really be too happy about this. Acro, the Ringmaster, Regina, and Bat. How about that? Right. Well done, Aaron. <laughs> yeah. Not a single one of them was a bad person inside, huh? I, I think Acro it. was. <laughs> he murdered someone. And meant to. That's a good question. And one I don't know the answer to. Many congrats, but only at max a million of them. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. What's with the vibe in this room? <laughs> We're just thinking about Acro, the really good guy. No, 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 no. If you worry about people too much, then you'll ne then you'll be like this forever and never be happy. Huh? <laughs> wow. She's been like this for a while now. Wah! It's all my fault, wah! Sweetie, sweetie pie. <laughs> Bad macro, they're never coming back. Now, now everyone's gonna split up. Regina. Mr. Riot, tell me something. What do you want to know, Regina? Acro said something right at the end. I tried to murder Regina. What did he mean by that? <laughs> I just couldn't up and leave yet. Oh shit, can he walk? Oh no. Oh, does that mean that Acro? Is he gonna try to get his revenge on me? Um. Of course he is. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like the fucking conciliatory tone. Like I'm kind of like, I wanna, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yes, of course. He's not gonna do that to you, Regina. Are you sure? You're really sure? I can believe that? Well, first of all, he's going to fucking jail. Mm -hmm. Acro doesn't have any desire for revenge anymore. If that's true, 
then I want to see some evidence. Huh? Oh, well, no, you're not just making that stuff up about Akron not wanting revenge. Oh, man. Fucking. Fucking, I don't know, the monkey. <laughs> 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 it's bat. He's still alive. Acro didn't want to get caught for a reason. He wanted to see his brother open his eyes again. Bat. That's, That's right. right. For oh yeah. <laughs> He's still alive, you know. Slam a lama, slim a lama, ding ding, <laughs> or whatever his name is. <laughs> yeah. I never knew, but now that Acro's been caught. I know. <laughs> Sorry. What? <laughs> I'll do it. I'll stay next to Bat as long as it takes to put a pillow over his face <laughs> until he opens his eyes, and then until he can meet Acro again. And then try that lion move again. <laughs> That's so sweet of you, Regi Regina. I'm sorry, Acro. I'm sorry, Bat. Oh. Acro Bat. Oh. <laughs> 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 well, hopefully this is enough to give her a little peace of mind. That's way better than what I was thinking. <laughs> hey, Max. <laughs> what is it, Mo? <laughs> hey, Max. What is it, Mo? We really put you through a lot, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> we really put you through a lot, didn't we, buddy? I'm sorry about what happened. So whenever you'd like to leave us, I'll pay your fee and rip up the contract. I understand. What a fabulous thing to do for me. I might even leave tomorrow. What's going to happen to the circus now? Ah, uh, that's the big question. Our ringmaster was really an amazing person, wasn't he? <laughs> you really just gave up on the clown voice. Well, when he's sad, he talks normally. Yeah. Yeah. Even though he's not here anymore. Everyone is sticking together. The staff, who you've never met, the performers. <laughs> no one wants to leave the circus. That ventriloquist who kind of like faded away. Yeah, remember, <laughs> like, remember that guy? Three yeah. episodes ago. That's why I've made a decision. That's what, yes. What, what is it? I've decided that I will take over as the new ringmaster. Ah, uh, of course. That was offered to you. I'll turn the circus into the best circus the world has ever seen. The best circus the world has ever seen. Don't laugh. That's quite the goal. That's quite the goal. Yeah, I can't wait! I love him! Then I guess that changes things. Huh? There's only one thing the best circus of the world has ever seen needs. The world's best illusions. Which means this circus needs the best magician the world has ever seen. David Copperfield. <laughs> Let's work together and make our circus super fabulous. What do you say, big guy? I don't know what to say. All I can say is thank you. Um, Regina, you're gonna help them out too, aren't you? Um, I don't know. Maybe the circus would be better off without me. What are you talking about, Regina? What do you think that I brought you to court today? Uh, we've gotta get to work together to make the very big circus bigger than it's ever been. Mo. Mo's right, sweetie pie. It can't be the Berry Big Circus without Regina Berry. Max. <laughs> Nick! <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Please, just let me leave. <laughs> it seems like everything is gonna turn out all right here. Except that a man is dead. <laughs> yeah. And another one's going to jail. Yeah, and another's in a coma. I can't wait to see the world's best circus I've ever seen. We'll save you the most fabulous seats. It'll take us a while to get ready, but I'm going to order special whoopee cushion seats. <laughs> uh. <laughs> and everything turned out, and we're all ha and every in the end. Mo died shortly thereafter. <laughs> <laughs> it's all black and white and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Mo, 1984 uh, to 1957. Oh shit, I can't. This is like all happening. Oh. It was just a theory. If Acro really was the killer, I thought this was the only way it could end. Oh, I think that's Von Karma. No. Oh. Especially if he was the defense attorney. You mean Mr. Wright? What's happening? Is she leaving the country? 
course. Well, Detective, my plane is about to leave. As for Mr. Acro's case, you need not worry. I plan to personally stop by the Chief Prosecutor's office as soon as I get back. It's Edgeworth! Oh my god! Understood, sir. I'll be waiting for you, Mr. Edgeworth. Holy, holy fuck. He tipped off Von Karma to go check out the thing which he knew would make him hide the bust under his chair. Wow, Edgeworth is good. <laughs> yeah, that's a Batman plan if I ever heard one. Jeez. All right. Damn, son. He's back, bro. Oh, I'm so happy. At last, we can get back to our gay shipping. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. Wait, no. Fuck yeah. Here we go. Overwrite. That is what I did. And now to continue. <sighs> Time to dust off the Edgeworth voice. Yeah. What was it? Was it, was it like this? I, yeah, I guess I, so. I think it was like a really... Uh, hold on. Who will be our hero of heroes? It's, it's cutscene that is oh, happening oh. at its own speed. Oh, cool. What a cool costume. Fuck yeah. Will it be last year's runner-up, Jammin' Ninja, or maybe Captain Saipan, all the way from the lovely- oh, I see the students of certain starry school are rare. I have a global hero. Own Yakupan doesn't want to go. We hope Lady Luck is with all our heroes tonight. And now, the winner of the third annual Hero of Heroes Grand Prix is me! What? The moon. <laughs> Oh, fuck. What is this, Devil Man Crybaby? <laughs> well, it's the Silver Samurai. The true hero of the night has appeared in our midst. Oh, shit, that's right. It looks like this year's Grand Prix goes to the fittest fantastic warrior. Oh, or no. not. The Nickel Samurai. Ah. Okay. Too bad, Jamma Ninja. Looks like the title eluded you again this year. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Kicking walls. Jamming Ninja, and shit. you're not supposed to talk. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What a beautiful banquet hall. <laughs> Alright! Yes! Did you hear that, Nick? Did you? The Nickel Samurai! He did it! Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Maya, please don't curse. Yeah, he sure did. Getting too old for this shit. <laughs> oh, it's that guy. Remember oh, that guy? Yeah, what was his voice? Oh, man. Oh, is he the Nickel Samurai? I'm proud he? of the guy for doing the series justice. Oh, okay, he's not, no. He's still the Silver Steel... Steel? Steel Samurai. Silver Samurai is a Marvel character. That sounds right. Damn, I wish I could remember this guy's voice. All right, we're back. We did what we should have been doing for the last 85 characters, and we just looked up an episode uh, from earlier. Uh, it's Aaron's character. He give you gave him kind of a uh, a Homer Simpsony kind of thing. Yeah, it was kind of like this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> ah, I am proud of the guy for doing the series justice. Um, so the person everyone was cheering for. Can you? Can I? Can I get like a like a like a crate to stand on? <laughs> <laughs> I'm very sorry. Fuck the milk thing never did resolve. Nope. God <laughs> damn it. <laughs> Oh, that's so frustrating. They just loved milk, I don't know. And the only- the only reason I thought of it was because you said crate, and I was like, Milk crate. Son of a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> I guess he got the prize? Yup! You know who we're talking about, right, Pearly? The Nickel Samurai! You've heard him, right? No, every Sunday I only watch the educational channel's Kids Masterpiece Theater. Okay, that's it! From now on, it's the Nickel Samurai! All the kids watch it! Do you like the Nickel Samurai too, Mr. Nick? Well, sure. It, my name is right in there. <laughs> oh, shit, Maya. <laughs> nah, Nick's an old fart, so he's not allowed <laughs> to watch it anymore. He's a fucking asshole. <laughs> like punches him in the gut. <laughs> That's right, but I do like kids' masterpieces. Isn't Nick theater. like 24? <laughs> yes. Nick's old as shit. He might as well die. <laughs> 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 Jesus Christ. Hey, I didn't know you were still young at heart, Nick. Mr. Nick, you're a grown-up. You're not allowed to watch it anymore. You're supposed to act your age and have interests that match. Damn, like Pearl. what kind of rocker you'll use on the porch. <laughs> it's very important. Aw, oh, give it a rest, Pearly. What the fuck are we even talking about here? Looks like I made the right choice <laughs> in inviting everyone here. 
I'm glad you're all having a good time. <laughs> ah, it's like a dream. <laughs> Too bad for the jam and ninja, though. Last year, he lost to the pink princess warrior of little oldie Tokyo. <laughs> I thought this year might be his year. Yeah. Oh, hey, did anyone else think the jam and ninja looked a little bit different today? Like, all murdery? <laughs> Different? What do you mean? Um, well, he wasn't carrying his bright red guitar. Hey, you're right. Strange he'd walk around without his signature guitar. <sighs> I will never understand these people in their shows. <laughs> anyway, Mr. Powers, thank you very much for tonight. You were incredible. Uh, oh, it was nothing. I owe you one. So it's just my way of saying thanks. Hey, Nick, come on. It's time to get going to the lobby. And have <laughs> A snack. <laughs> <laughs> you don't owe me one, dude. You paid out the fucking ass for my services. <laughs> <laughs> you are broke now. There's a post ceremony. There's a post ceremony stage show that's supposed yes. to start real soon. And then I heard there's going to be a press conference after that. Ooh. <laughs> The press conference? Is he going to make a speech about winning this year's prize? Uh, well, not exactly. Something about the Nickel Samurai confessing something. Confessing? Sounds pretty serious. Like murder? Yeah. Alright, oh, Nick, come on! You don't want to be the last one there, do you? Yeah, Mr. Nick, do you? You stupid fucking son of a bitch. <laughs> Why me? The show doesn't even start for another 20 minutes. Oh, okay. Damn, all right. I guess we're just fucking in it right now. Yeah. Thank you very much for inviting us today, as I've said before. Didn't they just say, like, we're in a rush? Yeah. And you're like, Here's my, here are my options for a long conversation. <laughs> uh, oh, it was nothing, really. Guys like us don't get to come to a place like this often, so I thought I'd invite you all. Hey, Mr. Powers! Mr. Powers! What are we up to lately? <laughs> well, since the Pink Princess successfully wrapped up last month, I've been doing porn. <laughs> <laughs> I've been on a kid's exercise show while wearing a rabbit mask over my face. Oh, I see. I'm still really sorry about all the headache I caused you that time, Mr. Wright. Uh, well, what's done is done, and honestly, I don't even remember it. So let's forget <laughs> about it. This is Will Powers. He's an action star, just so you remember. Yeah. His popularity exploded when he was the SEAL Samurai, and he was the first case Maya worked on with me. It's too bad you look scarier, people thought you're real softy is good with kids. Um, thanks. I can't believe they're gonna make a movie based on the Nickel Samurai. What about the Dime Samurai? I can't believe it either, but for a different He's reason- He's twice as tough. <laughs> The Steel Samurai, an epic story of one hero in a desperate fight against his arch nemesis, the evil magistrate in the city of Neo Old Tokyo. Is it called Neo Old Tokyo? Yeah. That's funny. And last year they started a new series, The Nickel Samurai. The new series seemed to be a hit with the kids, too. Those dumb little bastards will watch anything. <laughs> I'm really attached to the Steel Samurai as a show, so I was hoping that maybe I'd get a chance to do something in this new one. Yeah, it's too bad. It been, it'd be, it, it had been awesome to see you with the new actor, Matt Ungard. He's super popular right now. He's fucking winkle than you are. Mr. Ungard? Looks like Pearls doesn't know who, she, who he is. This year it's gonna be the Nickel Samurai versus the Jam and Ninja at the box office. Jam and Ninja? Who's that again? He just got fucking dude, snubbed, like, dude. <laughs> we talked about him 30 seconds ago. Pay attention. So who is this Jam and Ninja again? He's a hero, duh. His symbol is the bright red guitar he's always carrying. A ninja who's always carrying a bright red guitar. How does that even work? Well, you sneak up on people <laughs> and then tear off an amazing solo. With a scarf around his neck and a guitar in hand, he rises to stardom in an ancient time. A ninja who becomes a star? Yeah, a ninja who becomes a star! Okay. <laughs> wow. There's, <laughs> there's a strong rivalry between the two of them. Global Studios Nickel Samurai and Worldwide Studios Jam and Ninja. They even air at the same time. You know what I heard? You know what I heard? I heard this <laughs> two can't get along at all. I heard 
like they fucking hate each other. Nickel Samurai is the guard and the guy who plays the jam and ninja, I mean, whatever his name is. <laughs> the Nickel Samurai speaks French? Oh, you mean Matt Ongard, the actor. <laughs> Did I say Spanish? <laughs> I think you might have. That's okay. fine. I guess even the world of heroes isn't a sparkling happy place. Yeah. Okay, bye. Yeah, well, gotta go. <laughs> Gonna go look at the fruit plate now. This sure is one luxurious hotel, almost to the point of gaudy, with how it blends together everything fancy imaginable. Speaking of fancy, didn't that bellboy give me something like that last year? Okay. What can I say? This is a really high-class hotel. I've never eaten this kind of salad before. Poor Pearls, having eaten only vegetables all her life, she's been missing out. Sounds like all she ate was salads. <laughs> Don't worry, any leftovers belong in my happily waiting stomach anyway. You're such a glutton, Maya. God, you're fat! I, like, alright. I lose this one to Maya. You sure can eat. Well, a growing, growing girl needs her nutrients. A growing girl? Exactly how big do you plan on getting? Jesus, Phoenix! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. I like that they just leave a lobster, like a cooked lobster out. No, eh, whoever wants this can come along and eat. take it. Just crack off a tail. If this is all a dream, I don't want to ever want to wake up. And all the directors and stars that were here to see the heroes, wow. <laughs> Phoenix is just like stuck on this. He's just like, Hey, maybe you should lose a few pounds, huh? <laughs> what do you think about that? I had no idea who most of them were. Neither did I. Nick, you gotta cut that news only habit out. The new show is gonna be the Nickel Samurai. Every Sunday morning at 8. Oh, I know, we can watch it together starting next week. I'll come wake you up extra early to make sure, okay? Uh, I'm fine. You know, you really don't have to on my account. And stage. Yeah, sure. The award ceremony was just held on that stage. It was really fabulous. You just reminded me of the circus for a second. No, please, let's put the circus behind us. <laughs> well, shows like that are guaranteed to be good, you know? Hey, I have an idea. Let's invite Mo to hang out with us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like it when he talks a lot. I don't need to fucking examine this shit. No, the chandelier. I don't need to examine it. No? All right, fine. That chandelier is really something, isn't it? Examination yep. complete. <laughs> I thought it was a kind of spaceship. Hey, Nick, how about we get one of those for the office? One of those hanging from our poor weak ceiling? I don't think so. All right, then. That That's was very informative. That. Oh, fucking entrance. There's a grand set of doors over there. And behind those doors is an equally grand lobby. Shall we go and take a look, Mr. Nick? Hey, wait up. This grand design is calling to me. It's saying, eat me now. Nick's like fucking vibrating. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's fucking go. Hallway. March 20th. Gatewater. Ah, Gatewater. Uh -huh. Funny. Funny. This might, probably some kind of scandal's gonna happen here. Mm. Wow, what is this place? Or looks, a doll scan. Looks, <laughs> <laughs> looks like I've stumbled into Oz or something. Way in the back, there's a sign for the bathroom. Maybe I should visit it while I can before the show starts. Or I'll look at all this weird shit. To Mr. On Guard from the Global Studio staff. Ah, it'd be nice if lawyers got flowers too. Something like, to Mr. Wright from all your grateful clients. Shut up. <laughs> There's a piece of paper taped to the door that says, Juan Corita's room. Juan Corita. His name just sounds like a star's name. I've heard it before, but I don't know anything about him at all. Bear. <laughs> Bear! Having Katamari flashbacks. <laughs> I can understand flowers in front of the dressing rooms, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> what are stuffed bears doing here? Could it be that there's an action star with a soft spot for teddy bears? Named after Ted Theodore Roosevelt. Nah, can't be. Yeah. <laughs> Compared to the flowers on the other side of the hall, these are much more gorgeous. Let's see, record companies, fan clubs, company workers, family. Carrying all these flowers home would be hard, I think. Okay, let's huh? fucking go. There are toilets in each room in this hotel. But since all sorts of events are held here, there are bathrooms for people who, can't, who aren't staying here to use as well. They usually stink. 
perfect for people like me who can't afford to stay here in the first place. Take your poor shits this way. Are lawyers, like, not paid well in Japan? Your commoner poopies. I, I don't know. He does make a lot of jokes about how, like, he doesn't have any money. Yeah, I can't make ends meet. I don't it's know. Like, you're a fucking lawyer, dude. There's a piece of paper taped to the door that says Matt Ongard's room. Matt Ongard. I've heard that name before. Oh, yeah, Maya's always yammering about him like the obsessed fan she is. Okay. Well. Great. I, I guess I'll move. Or not. Sounds like the post ceremony show's about to start. All right, I'm so pumped. I wonder if it's gonna show off its special move today, Nickel Samurai Smelting. Actually, what I'm interested in most is the press conference. You mean the big confession the Nickel Samurai is going to make after the show? So what is it? Don't you know what it's about, Mr. Powers? Uh, well, I'm not the Steel Samurai anymore, so I don't have any idea. Bah! <laughs> Sorry. So I'm practicing to be in a corn cover band. <laughs> Blah! <laughs> <sighs> so I guess you are all going to the press conference then. Yeah, of course! If that's the case, then here, take these tickets so you can get in. Seems like the Little Samurai is doing for somebody. Thank you very much. Well, let's go get going to the lobby. It looks, it looks like it's over this way, Mr. Nick. Okay, for great justice. Yeah, let's talk some more. <laughs> <laughs> Hotel lobby. The lobby. Let's fucking go. Nice. Mm, only a real gaudy hotel would have such a large gaudy lobby to mash. Oh, I think they're going to have the post ceremony show over there. Oh yeah, you fucking think? They're using a compact <laughs> stage, I see. Ooh, I'm all ready to use my special samurai power! Maya well, looks like she's ready to start a fight. You're gonna be the PA? Oh. Your attention, please. Your attention, please. The Nickel Samurai's post-ceremony stage show will not be held tonight due to unforeseen circumstances. What? Why? Oh, you don't have to pinch me. Pinch yourself if you don't believe it. We are asking for everyone's cooperation at this time. So please stay where you are. This is a special request from the police. <laughs> police? Pol police? Did they just say the police? <laughs> Do you want me to go check out what's going on? As in not stay put? Yes. <laughs> As a pretend superhero, I feel like I can help the police. <laughs> uh, wait, I'll come with you. Friends. You two, didn't you hear the announcement just now? I'm just finished telling you not to move. You think it's Gumshoe? Of course. Okay. That voice, I've heard that voice somewhere before. Oh. Whoa. Okay. Why don't you be Mr. Spaceman? <laughs> Honestly, youth these days can't be bothered to listen when other people when they talk. Just the other day, oh, I said, beware bridge out. And a log, it's not, should I be, are you hitting that button? Nope. Okay, so. Many things. You can read it if you can pause YouTube. Yeah. Well, I really let him have it then and knocked him out of the car off the bridge. Honestly, the kids these days don't know right from wrong, I tell you. Is this, um... Is this What's-Her-Face? Puff Puff? Like, who's the non-stop chatter? I don't know. This... This non-stop chatter. It can't be Miss Oldbag? Is it Miss Oldbag? Wow, no, it, totally it is. is! What is it, you young whippersnappers? Do I know you? Puff? Puff, 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 puff. Wait, you, your powers, aren't you? Yeah, um, about what happened back then. You didn't even get nominated this year, did you? Hmm, sucks. Oh, that's right, you're doing that children's ex exercise program trying to play nice. Uh, yeah, that's me. Thankfully, I still have a job. I love that show, and you're a hoot. You're the Big Brother character, right? Yes, even with your face, what would work without, but that's how it is, you know? I mean, if you didn't wear the mask, who knows how many TVs you'd break, really? And shame on those kids exercising around you, they're getting what they deserve. This is why I thought you shouldn't be anywhere. Um, look at my uniform and tell me you can't tell I'm a member of security. Security? What, for Jupiter? <laughs> but that outfit! Annoying, noisy brats get the blaster! rat a tat 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 <laughs> She's something else. Wendy Old Bag. Miss Old Bag, what are you doing here? What happened to your position at Global Studios? 
Oh, that old place? Well, since that incident, they've been letting people go. When they cussed the security team, I got the pink slip. What incident? What did you do? I didn't do anything, you youngin'. Don't you remember? That incident a year ago, when this lady got on the witness stand and testified. Yeah? And you, weren't you the one who was bullying me? This fragile girl at heart? Honestly, I don't remember. Yeah. <laughs> and I <laughs> believe him when he says that. Yeah. But you know, I think maybe I rubbed the upper management the wrong way by testifying. To you, it was the most important day of your life. To me, it was Tuesday. <laughs> Damn. Yes, that has to be it. Everything is all your fault. Me? I thought about being a bodyguard at first, after being handed old Pinky. You? A bodyguard? Old Pinky? <laughs> For your friend, that fiery good-looking guy with the red jacket and the ruffles. Mr. Edgeworth? But... That sort of arrangement would be entirely, entirely too troublesome for me. That's what he said to me. What did I ever do to deserve that? rat a tat 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 <laughs> All right, next time I game. No, oh, goodness. <laughs> so many old friendly faces. Seriously. See you soon. That's like, y'all. Yeah.